Hey, hello guys. This is Karthik from ExecuteAutomation.com. This is part two of our Coda UI video series. So this part is going to be completely continuation of part one. So let's get started. So we were discussing about how we can do testing with Visual Studio and what are the available testing types in Visual Studio. So we talked about Coda UI testing and manual testing. So manual testing we did using MTM. So the next testing type is order testing. Order test is used in conjunction with coded UI test or unit test to hold all the different test methods to execute in a specific order. This becomes very useful while running a large set of similar kind of test in a specific order. So consider this. You have 100 test cases or 100 test methods in this case and you want to execute just 10 test cases in a specific order. So you can use order test to hold only those 10 methods from the 100 test cases or the test methods that you have and create it as an order and then you can just run the order test itself which will automatically call only those 10 test cases which you need to execute. So that's the power of order testing and this comes very handy while working with different kinds of testings within your automated test itself. Let's say you want to create some of the tests like sanity testing or sometimes you need to create some of the regression test case for a particular build where you need to execute only 50 test cases out of 1000 final test cases that you got. Right? So order testing is very very helpful. So we'll talk about order testing more detail while we start working with Coda UI itself. Unit testing. Unit testing feature is commonly used by developers where developer writes method to test their own methods for their expected behaviors. So as we all know that unit testing is only used by developers but it's not just limited to the developers sometimes we may also need to test our own libraries of methods that we wrote for our automation test cases so those library can also be unit tested web performance testing web testing option is used to simulate the user action performed by a user in a web application this will store all the get and post request of an http from a web application this can then be used in conjunction with load testing of same application where virtual users as if a real user is performing the operation. So web performance testing is especially useful for testing a web application. So this will not record any of the application's UI. Rather, it only records the HTTP get and post request which is happening between your application's client with the application server. So this comes very handy while testing your web application's performance. Load testing option is used to load test the application via multiple virtual users. So load testing not only load test web application but also load test web service as well. So load testing results are stored in TFS SQL Server database which will be very helpful to analyze the results. So there are a lot of pivot charts available in Excel which can also be used for getting the result out from your TFS database for the load test that you did for your application. So we'll talk about load testing as well in this video series but not very much as we are going to discuss like Coda UI testing since this video series is very focused on Coda UI testing alone. Alright guys, so these are the different types of testings supported in Microsoft's Visual Studio starting from Visual Studio 2010 through Visual Studio 2013 and of course in the next version of Visual Studio 2015 also these testing types available. So these testing types are still supported. Alright guys, thank you very much for watching this video and have a great day.